Okay, so Coding 19 is now available. Matrix is officially released, but don't update just yet. And I'm gonna tell you why, coming up. to the channel hope you are well yes my name is Lee from Lee TV and if this is the first time you've hit this channel consider subscribing and ring that bell icon now Cody 19 has just been made official the updates been pushed and if you've installed Cody via the Google Play Store you need to change this setting right now because you risk losing everything you've got set up on your Cody whether it's a build custom add-ons whatever it is you need to change this setting and if you thinking of updating I would just hold on and I'll explain why right so on the previous version of Kodi all the add-ons that you probably use right now are based on Python 2 the problem is with Kodi 19 the migration to Python 3 has taken place and a lot of the current add-ons or add-ons within the custom builds that you might be using at the minute hasn't been updated or migrated over to Python 3. So when Kodi updates to Kodi 19, you'll find a lot of your add-ons, if not most of the add-ons, if they haven't migrated over to the new Python, won't work anymore. And a lot of users are reporting that they're just losing everything that's set up anyway. So if you're thinking of upgrading, I would just hold on until you know that the add-on that you use the most, or the add-ons you use, have been migrated to Python 3. Now, if you installed Kodi through the Google Play Store, likelihood is it's too late because Google Play Store will update Kodi 219 as it's a new release. You need to follow this tutorial. It's gonna be really quick and easy, and it's gonna stop the update from Kodi 18 to Kodi 19, which will stop you losing all your current setup, add-ons, builds, whatever. Anyway, let's just do it. First, real quick, if I go to Kodi, you can see it's 19, new matrix splash screen, funky looking good. Now, if we go down to add-ons, you'll see there's nothing on here at all. It's a clean version of Kodi. But if you don't change this setting, this is what yours could look like. So you have to reinstall whatever you had set up, whether it's a build, whether it's an add-on, you have to do it again. Now in this video, I'm on the Nvidia Shield, but if it's an Android box, if it's an Android phone, or on Fire Stick, you'll have to go into your apps in the settings, go down to Kodi and change the setting in there. But on any other Android devices, what we're gonna do is head on over to the Google Play Store. Now on Android TV, it's slightly different. If we go into here, there's nothing we can do. But if you've got disable updates, make sure that is disabled, take it off so it doesn't auto update. For Android TV boxes like the Shields, what we need to do is go on over to our account in the top right, go down to settings and the top option here, auto update apps, go into that and don't update apps. Now I know that will stop everything else updating, but if you don't wanna lose everything on your Kodi setup, then for now you'll have to do it until the add-ons migrate, or you get it set up with any builds or repos, whatever, that have migrated over. But for now, that will stop Google automatically updating your Kodi version to 19, which will stop you breaking all the add-ons. Now, if the add-ons have already been migrated to Python 3, then you shouldn't have an issue. And I'm not saying this will be an issue for most add-ons, but loads of people are reporting breaks in their add-ons, in their build, losing their build. So if you want to prevent that from happening, this is how you do it. And again, on Fire Stick, head on over to your settings and apps and go down to Kodi and stop the auto updates. Or you should be able to do it from the Amazon App Store. Just find Kodi or go to your general settings and disable auto updates. So that's it. It's just a very quick video and hopefully it's helped you and hopefully you don't lose your current setup. If you have already lost everything or you've auto updated to 19 and it didn't affect you, let me know in the comment section down below. But if you have lost it, the issue is down to the Python version. But of course, no doubt all the developers and build creators will be working hard to make sure you guys are not gonna have any issues. I know some of the guys like Slamius is enabling a setting in the next update which will stop the auto update. So some build makers may have already done it. Anyway, if you've had any issues, let me know down below. Hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, smash the like button, consider subscribing. But that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.